this computer and Sige, so it's already 12.31 and um, of course, no, um, mag-start na ta, magsugod na ta. And today's um, topic, ang, uh, my topic is why you need to pay off your debt. And um, this topic is just a, kumbaga, dagdag or pang supplementary topic, no? pang, pang dagdag sa um, mga topics for the last few days. Um, I think ang the fir first topic natin is uh, how to pay off your debt and how to increase your cash flow. So, kumbaga, itong topic na ito is just like a review. no? And yesterday, ang topic din is about how to refuse when someone uh, want to borrow money. no? So, kumbaga, kung may uutang. No? And if if um, hindi mo yun na-attenan, yung mga, mga topics, mga training na yun, you can watch the watch the recorded video sa ating Prosper Pinoy YouTube channel. Okay. So, of course, uh, what to expect in this training, uh, meron tayo ang yung mga madi-discuss ko ngayon is um kumbaga parang na-discuss na, no? So sa, so as what I've said, it's more like a review. Okay. So, ito um why you need to pay off your debt. So, or why we need, no? So ito lang, no? Um, before we start, congratulations for attending um, this uh, webinar and congratulations if if wala kang if wala kang utang ngayon, then congratulations, no? Kasi uh, wala kang utang, no? And you are stress-free. And if meron ka namang utang, existing mga utang, mga loans, whatever, uh, congratulations pa rin kasi you still give yourself a chance to attend today and to learn paano makawala sa utang no and ayun uh, congratulations for attending so my i think may nag may, may nag question may question sa chat uh, sa chat box so paki reply na lang so yung mga ibang leaders natin all right so let's start so bakit ba i-highlight natin sa sa ating mga 30 minutes na financial 30 minutes na financial coaching bakit ba uh, one of the topic na laging napag-uusapan or included na topic is the, the uh, how to pay off our debt because it's in the um, building a solid financial foundation. It's part of building a solid financial foundation. So in fact, um, kasama siya sa uh, financial foundation, it's the third step. Okay? So ibig sabihin, hindi pwedeng uh, may financial education na insurance lang ang laging pag-usapan. Okay? Hindi pwede financial education tapos investment lang ang pag-usapan. So, in other words, ang debt management or paying off our debt is part of the uh, financial education talaga. No? So, hindi pwede magsabi tayo ng financial education and hindi mapag-usapan yung paano makawala sa utang. And most of us, many people, especially our family and friends, um, karamihan talaga may problema sa utang. No? And I will not share no, sa, sa aming family but kami din, um, marami kami utang. No? So, hindi ko na lang share ngayon yung reasons kasi uh, kukulangin tayo sa time. But yun na nga, um, many of you who are attending ngayon, um, naka-experience na siguro na nagkaroon ng maraming utang or hindi ma, ma, hindi masyadong malaking utang pero at least <laughs> naka-experience tayo na magkaroon ng utang and if we are really committed in building a solid financial foundation kailangan ngayon pa lang alam na natin paano i-manage and paano i-pay off yung utang natin you know? so let's proceed so ito uh, review lang din sa ating uh, from our SSBYF na book. Um, I think some of you meron ng copy ng libro na to. And if you're not yet a member, you will get this copy, uh, copy of this book, PDF book, no? Pa para mabasa mo din, no? So, yun. Okay? So, ito, page 53 to 55, doon mo makikita yung um, uh, another financial reality, no? Sabi ng, sabi ng libro, in the Philippines daw, Many companies make it so easy and convenient for people to borrow money. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, um, hindi lang pala 
uh, tayo lang yung um, main reason kung bakit nababaon tayo sa utang. Okay? So, ang mga companies kasi, they are making ways din to um, to sell their their uh, loans na mga program. no So, kasalanan ba ng mga company yun? Of course, hindi. Kasi it's part of their business. It's their business. No? So, there's nothing wrong. No? Um, uh, kung baga, meron lang silang, nakita lang nilang opportunity na they can earn through loans because many people don't know uh, don't know about ganito, paano i-manage ang mga utang or ano yung disadvantage or advantage ng mga utang. So, kaya naging lumabas yung mga mga, do, mga loans no, na mga, mga programs. So, many companies make it so easy and convenient for people to borrow money because sabi ko nga, it's their business. So, tayo, as a responsible um, family member, no, um, kailangan kailangan financially educated tayo when it comes to especially borrowing money kasi um, siguro may mga situations na kailangan tayong humiram talaga diba? so and uh, na discuss yesterday na merong good debt and sabi na ating speaker si Sir John eh, hindi siya naniniwala sa bad debt pero pwedeng ma 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 masabing necessary debt ba yun ang term niya so parang ganun so like for example yung mga uh, mga uh, you are you are acquiring loan for um, the growth of your of your business etc no so of course hindi, hindi na yan kasama sa training for today but yun na nga sabi ko we need to be more uh, uh, financially educated kasi we will uh, understand na ano yung when's the when when's the, rest, the right time to borrow money or kung pwede hindi na makapag-borrow no hindi na maka-loan kasi yun na nga ito, ito yung topic natin ngayon um, if if you will na, if you will bury yourself with debt so anong mangyayari sa iyo di ba so ayan so why should we manage our debt? Because, number one, nasa libro ito, debt can turn into a disease. So, parang sakit na, no? So, um, magiging, magiging epidemic na rin, no? So, or it's, it's already an epidemic, no? So, financial financial epidemic, no? So, uh, kung titingnan mo, lahat ng mga taong may utang talaga, um, makikita mo, they are really stressed, no? And they are really... Um, Kumbaga, laging nag-worry, laging uh, kumbaga, walang peace of mind. And at the same time, ito, share ko lang din kasi na-share ng team member namin kahapon during our meeting. Sabi niya, um, yung nag-share na yun is yung new member namin, newly promoted marketing director. He's a judge. And sabi niya, um, karamihan talaga sa uh, kaso na um sinusold nila no or or anong tawag dito para bang lagi nilang uh, nai-encounter na mga cases is related sa poverty related sa financial and related sa mga utang no so it's really sad to know that uh, we are all living sa utang no yung yung buhay natin uh, umiikot lang sa sa utang no and yun nga sabi ng libro it can uh, uh, death can turn into a disease so kumbaga if meron kang utang para bang meron ka ring sakit no you are infected <laughs> okay so next is it could control your life and marami tayong examples no na um, will prove no and i know you you will agree na kayang kontrolin ng utang ang buhay natin and many of us naka-experience na siguro nung um, every time na singila na eh paranoid ka na no every time na mayroong tatawag sa na especially hindi naka phone book yung number niya eh hindi mo na ayaw mong sagutin kasi baka baka maniningil lang ng utang so yun wala kang peace of mind uh, and the, the utang will control your life talaga okay and uh, ito rin um, it could control your life in a way na you know kanina magiging disease no many doctors also uh, may mga nakausap na akong doktor na nag, nakapagsabi sa akin na kadalasang reason ng sakit is um, financial problem or, or stress and and, and kadalasang reason ng stress is financial problem so in other words it can turn into disease and it could control your life and i agree with that because na experience namin yan sa aming family okay so next 
it will diminish your happiness. No? So, I think, um, um, kumbaga, ma, ma intindihan na natin yan. And limit your freedom. Oh, yes, no? So, kumbaga, yun na, based sa sharing, uh, sa examples ko, yun. So, it will limit your freedom kasi wala kang peace of mind. And every day, uh, nagwo-worry ka. So, baka someone will, um, kumbaga, kukolektahin na yung kailangan mo i-buy, uh, yung, yung utang mo, and wala ka pang pangbayad. So, kumbaga, yun na nga, uh, financial stress talaga. If you have, loans no if you have utang and you you can never be truly free until you are debt free so yun so um when we say utang kasi um yun nga sabi ko kahapon na share na merong good merong bad or necessary na utang but we'll we'll talk more about the the debts na hindi necessary okay yung mga utang na hindi necessary or kahit yung mga utang na natin before na um This is sorry. Like for example, merong hospital, wala silang healthcare, kaya nakapag-utang. Or merong emergency, wala kang emergency fund, kaya nakapag-utang. So, kailangan masolve natin yun. Kailangan bayaran natin yun, di ba? So, so ito yung kumbaga, main flow talaga ng, ng meeting. Pero, uh, we'll not talk more about the um, yun ng uh, paano, okay? But on why. Okay? And also, um, yung mga utang kasi, no, it's part of the top topic, topic sa previous, yung first topic or second topic yan. And part sa mga yung utang talaga kasi is, is just a result of lack of financial planning, lack of financial education. And you are blessed that you met IMG and you are, uh, or you are becoming, uh, you, are, you already become part of IMG because we have continuous trainings, no? And mas, um, hindi kasi, hindi kasi one time lang ito, no? Napakadaling umutang pero hindi napakadaling magbayad, no? That's why, kailangan natin ng, ng continuous training at the same time, right environment to really manage and pay off our debt. Okay, so next slide tayo. If you don't manage or pay off your debt as soon as possible, I'm, I'm referring about the unnecessary debts. Ha? Kasi marami sa atin, ano ba yung mga unnecessary debt pala? So, ito lang. Um, meron kasi kami na experience na, like for example, si, si mama, she's a teacher. Meron din siya mga teachers before na naglo-loan lang para may pang-shopping. Okay? Or naglo-loan para bumili ng bagong mobile phone or cellphone. Pero yung cellphone na yun, hindi naman talaga ginagamit so or ginagamit lang for uh, if may tatawag, hindi naman siya ginagamit for like uh, income generating purposes. No? So, i- ibig sabihin, if hindi mo kaila- if if you you uh, kung utang ka for a mobile phone or mamahaling cellphone para lang sa para lang sa tawag dito, daily use na hindi naman income generating, texting lang, chatting lang, eh, hindi mo na kailangan ng mamahaling phone. Okay? ang kailangan mo lang is yung makontak ma- ka, di ba? So may mga may mga ganun, di ba? So pero yun nga additional additional sa ating mga na-discuss kanina, if hindi mo kaila- if hindi mo i-manage or i-pay off yung utang mo asap, yung mga unnecessary utang mo. So ang mangyayari, you might become a burden to your children. No? So um, marami sa atin nakaka-experience nito na sakit sa ulo yung mga parents natin. Kasi tayo yung nagbabayad ng mga utang nila. Okay? So, of course, we cannot blame them because uh, hindi naman talaga sila na-educate. Walang financial education before. No? Akala nila ang solusyon sa lahat is utang. Pero hindi pala kasi tayo mga anak eh, napagmanahan tayo ng mga utang. No? So, experience natin yan lahat. Okay? Uh, pwede kang, uh, I mean, hindi necessary na magalit ka sa akin kasi experience natin yan lahat. No? So, If you don't cut the cycle, if if ikaw uutang ka rin, hindi mo babayaran yung mga utang mo ngayon, yung mga anak mo, sila ganun din ang mangyayari, no? So, sila yung magbabayad sa mga utang mo and kung wala ka na, wala na tayo, may mga utang yung mga anak mo, sino yung magbabayad ng mga utang nila? Yung mga anak din nila or mga apo mo. So, the the 
poverty cycle will continue. No? So, paulit-ulit lang na mangyayari. Okay? So, of course, we don't want that to happen. No? That's why we join IMG. We learn this financial education para ma-remove ma na yung mga ganyang pangyayari. Di ba? So, you you might end up selling all your properties. This is true. No? May mga kakilala ako, mga kapitbahay, mga kamag-anak na laging umuutang. Ang ending, kumbaga, parang naadik na sa utang. Ang nangyayari, yung mga property nila na ibibenta, no? yung, mga, mga, yung mga bagay nila sa bahay na ibibenta para mabayaran lang yung utang. So, almost every day, especially nung wala pa ako sa Cebu, nandun pa ako sa bahay, nung, nung, nung um, I was still a student. No? So, lagi kong na, na, naririnig sa mga kapitbahay, sa mga relatives na uh, yun, ang, ang TV na ibenta. Kasi kailangan ng bayaran yung utang. So, may mga ganun. Kumbaga, the poverty cycle continue to, yun na nga, paulit-ulit lang kasi because of the utang na hindi nabayaran. No? So, so, kailangan ma-solve natin yan ngayon kasi, yun, paulit-ulit lang ang mangyayari. Also, so, ito, okay lang umutang ako kasi, uh, in a way, magre-retire naman ako. So, so yun, di ba, kadalasang mindset ganun. Pero ito, if you don't, pay off your debt, your, your retirement money might be used to pay your debt. No? So, baka yung, yung retirement mo, mauubos lang pang bayad sa utang. Okay? Meron akong uh, experience din, or, uh, not my experience, but um, teacher ng mama ko din. Supposedly, magre-retire na siya. Um, that was, I think, two years ago. Supposedly, magre-retire na siya. Pero, Doon pinakompute niya yung retirement niya na makukuha, retirement benefit, minus the, the loans, eh kukulangin pa yung retirement money niya kaysa loans niya. So, ang nangyari, um, nag-decide talaga siya to continue working until age 65. I'm not sure kahit mag-65 siya kung mababayaran din yung mga utang. So, in other words, um, yung retirement money mo, supposedly, pang uh, pang para mag-enjoy mo na yung yung buhay mo no so so kumbaga you work hard for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years so that later on secured yung retirement mo you will grow old nga na walang financial problem pero ang nangyari the moment you retired kahit nag-work hard ka dahil marami kang loans yung retirement mo mauubos lang pang bayad sa mga utang mo so of course, hindi ganun yung na-imagine nating financial security, di ba? So, hindi yun financial security. Alright? So, next is, you might need to work again after retirement. So, yeah, kadugtong yan, no? Sa, sa, sa example natin kanina. No, many people, um, after retirement, dahil na, naubos yung pera, pang bayad sa utang. So, uh, ang nangyayari, kailangan lang magtrabaho ulit, no? So, so, ang, ang the, the saddest part is, yun na nga, um, you're, you're familiar with the story ng, na feature sa Richard K na principal and naging janitress. No? Nag-retire siya, naubos yung pera, um, tapos uh, bumalik sa pagtatrabaho, naging janitress. No? So, yun. So, um, maraming reasons kung bakit nagkakautang but if you have uh, you have the will to, to pay off your debt, and you know, you understand the reasons din kung bakit mo kailangang i-pay off. Especially, itong mga example natin ngayon, marami pa kasing example. Mar marami pang uh, possible na mangyari if hindi mo uh, sisimulang i-pay off yung utang mo. So, if if hindi mo yan gagawin ngayon, so, mas magiging stressful talaga. No? So, mas maraming problema talaga. So, don't think about utang as a solution. It will give you more headache not just you but also your family marami sa atin sa family natin na um yung kapatid ng mama mo um merong utang yung mama mo yung magbabayad pati ikaw ma 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 kasama na din no or ma may mga ganun talaga so marami pa marami pa many of us um mer siguro may mga experience pa kayo um, about utang na mas grabe pa sa experience namin so if you don't want that to happen to you or to your or your family or sa mga anak mo later on, then you should cut the poverty cycle. Okay? So, ngayon pa lang, kailangan magiging 
um, good example, best example na tayo sa ating family ay mga anak. Alright? So, ito, another reasons din, no? Why we need to pay off our debt is, ito nga, example, meron kang utang from your friends and your relatives. Okay? Ito, very practical lang na, na reason kung bakit kailangan mong bayaran ng utang mo or yung nagka-utang sa'yo, bakit kailangan kanyang bayaran, no? So, number one reason is ito, you need, uh, you, uh, you need to pay because they work hard to earn that money. Or they need to pay because you work hard to earn that money. Kung baga, pinagpawisan mo yan yung pera na yan or pinagpawisan nila yung pera na hinira mo. Tapat, kailangan mo, I mean, dapat mabayaran mo kasi um, napaka-unfair naman, di ba? So, ibang tao yung uh, nagtanim. Ikaw yung umani, hindi ka pa nagbigay, <laughs> hindi mo pa binalik, di ba? So, um, sila yung nag-work hard to earn that money and you spend it for uh, uh, for something else tapos hindi mo pa babayaran, di ba? So, napaka-unfair naman. And remember, meron tayong tinatawag na good and bad karma. So, if if yan yung ginagawa mo palagi, so babalik din yan sa'yo. So, magbabackfire yan. So, next is your relationship. Nasabi na to kahapon, your relationship with them or your friends and relatives is more important than money. That's why you need to pay on time, no? So, if hindi mo, hindi, hindi mo kayang magbayad on time, kailangan maipaintindi mo or siguro ma-explain mo, di ba? So, pero at least, yun nga, um, kailangan mabayaran mo din kasi um, most of the reasons na bakit nag-aaway ang mga kamag-anak, mga magkaibigan is pera, no? Yung base nga, base nga sa sinabi ko kanina, maraming kaso na um, ang reason sa pag-aaway is pera. Okay? So, same conflict din sa mga family, di ba? Sa relatives, pera. So, which is more important? The, the, the money that you owe or yung relationship mo sa sa relatives and family mo, di ba? So, of course, yung relationship, no? Kasi at the end of the day, um, um, time will come na mas mas may maitutulong yung mga mga family and friends mo than your money. Okay? May mga situations na ganun. No? So, like for example, ngayon, mas kailangan natin na uh, um, yung tulong ng mga yung mga family members or uh, mga relatives natin, especially if walang-wala ka. No? And if, if umutang ka sa relatives mo and hindi mo binayaran yung mga past utang mo, so baka hindi ka na makaulit okay so yun pero yun na nga um, of course hindi tayo pupunta sa ganung ganung direction na uh, lagi tayong utang kasi uh, sa IMG tinuturo naman naman natin yung solution para hindi na makapag-utang okay pero that's outside of my topic for today all right so another reasons why if you have debt from banks or credit cards or cooperatives and lending companies that charge you interest no so ito rin kailangan hindi lang pala magbabayad ka for your own like peace of mind or para sa para sa taong inutangan mo but also you have to look, look at the technical side okay so especially if yung inutangan mo eh merong interest na charge charges okay so number 1 your debt will grow faster because of its interest no and number 2 your money is technically working against you. So, your money is not working for you, working against you. So, I'll explain why. And it's part of the, the previous topic also. So, marireview na lang, na lang din natin ngayon. No? So, ito, the power of compound interest. Um, itong compound interest kasi, pwede natin i-maximize for our, of course, for our savings and investments. But also, the people yung mga taong may alam with the compound interest, pwede rin silang mag-maximize and tayo yung, kumbaga, if wala tayong knowledge with the com compound interest, interest, the compound interest or the money might work against us. Okay? So, explain ko lang um, ulit. No? So, sa mga hindi nakapag sa previous training din about the rule of 72, simple lang. Itong formula na ito is to determine kung kailan magdudubli yung pera na ininvest ko with a certain uh, ito, interest rate. No? Kung merong interest rate, kailan ba siya dudubli? Considering wala akong ilalagay, wala akong kukunin. No? So, I'm talking about saving invest or investment muna. Okay? So, if we look at it, 
meron akong 100,000, in-invest ko, nilagay ko sa 4%, after 18 years, magiging 200,000. Money doubles every 18 years because 72 divided by 4% equals 18 years. So, ibig sabihin, every 18 years, dudoble yung pera ko because merong compounding interest. Okay? If we look at 12%, mas mabilis tutubo yung pera ko because malaki yung uh, interest niya. 72 divided by 12% equals every 6 years to double. Now, kung titingnan natin sa utang natin, kasi um, kung mag-fill out tayo ng form between savings program and loan loan form, no? Savings form and and loan form, para bang mas excited tayo sa loan form, no? So mas excited tayong umutang para sa atin blessing 'yun pero mali 'yun, no? Hindi. Especially if matutunan mo itong compounding interest. Bakit? Kasi if we look at it like sa 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 cooperatives, sa banks, um, sa mga lending companies, as what I've said, business nila 'yan, pero kung titingnan natin ngayon, the, the, if hindi mo alam yung interest rate, um, malaki yung maibabayad mo sa sa, lo, sa utang. Okay? So, if titingnan natin, ang mga companies, mga banko na yan, nagpapaloan, sinacharge tayo ng interest rate na mga 1 to 3% a month or that's around uh, 12 to 36% a year. So, if gagamitin natin ang formula, like, halimbawa, 72 divided by 36%, uh, percent, ang result is 2 years. So, meaning, every two years pala, dudubli yung utang mo. Okay? So, if hindi mo alam ang, ang effect ng compound interest, tapos, ha, hayaan mo lang, sasabihin mo lang, ah, hindi ko na babayaran yung credit card uh, loan ko kasi ganito, ganyan. Wala akong pambayad, ganito, ganyan. After few years, yung utang mo, mas lalaki pa yan. So, mas lalaki pa yung problema mo. That's why, especially, yung, yung mga loan mo, na merong interest, yun yung pinaka uh, mas mas mainam na i-prioritize. Okay? Aside sa mga utang mo sa family mo or relatives mo, bayaran mo yun. Tsaka, i-work out mo ma-manage hanggang ma-pay off yung mga utang mo na merong mga malalaking interest. Okay? Because you are actually uh, paying uh, a lot of interest. No? So, kumbaga, um, Y y yun na nga yung sabi ko, hindi blessing yung utang kasi kumbaga, it yung pera mo, lalo pang kukuha ng pera sa pocket mo because of the interest rate. Okay? So, ayan. So, this is one reason. No? Uh, many of us uh, nagtataka kung bakit marami tayong utang na hindi pa rin na fully pay and lagi naman tayong nagbabayad. It's because of the compound interest. No? So, imagine if meron kang utang ngayon, hin hinayaan mo lang kahit 12% lang, 100,000 ang utang mo, 12% ang ang interest ng utang mo. Hinayaan mo lang, hindi mo binayaran and hindi yeah, and hinayaan mo lang during retirement, meron ka ng 3.2 million na utang sa bangko, di ba? <laughs> hindi pa kasama diyan yung mga mga penalty whatever, no? <laughs> di ba? So ideally, di ba? Pero technically, of course, i-inform ka naman ng bank or ng 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 uh, legal department nila. Pero kung titingnan mo lang talaga uh, through the compound interest, pwede ka talagang mabaon sa utang. That's why we need to pay off our debt ASAP. Okay? That's why here sa IMG, tuturuan ka to, aside from managing your debt, to also have extra cash flow na makakatulong sa'yo para pangbayad sa mga utang mo. Okay? So, next is ito. I think um, almost done na tayo kasi it's already 1 p.m. Money working against you. Ito rin, no, very critical din na, na um, presentation or kailangan natin maintindihan. Kasi um, kung nag-loan tayo, halimbawa, 15,000 yung ni-loan mo, tapos sabi nila, okay lang sa amin kasi yung babayaran mo lang naman is 2%. So, diba? so parang, parang magandang pakinggan kasi ang liit, 2% lang. No? Pero hindi mo alam, yung monthly payment, meron pa lang monthly payment for interest add on no so add on pala siya sa kumbaga fix yung 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 amount pero kung titingnan mo yung interest rate niya is every month palaki ng palaki pala no so akala mo sa form na final outan mo 2% lang kasi yun lang yung nakalagay pero every month palaki ng palaki pala yan 
titingnan natin no ngayon uh, medyo mat na to okay so um the 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 300 of 15,000 is 2%. That's true. So, ang ginawa nila, every month, magbabayad ka ng 300 on top sa monthly payment ng principal mo. Diba? So, ito, 1,250 plus 300. So, actually, you are paying for the principal and for the 2% interest. The following month, di ba yung utang mo, 13,000 na lang. Tapos, yung binayad mo is 300 pesos pa rin na interest. And your 300 pesos of 13,750, that's actually 2.2%. Okay, next month naman, 300 of 12,000, that's actually 2.4. Hanggang sa 12 month na nagbayad ka, ang ang 300 of 1,250, that's actually 24% interest. So, you are paying, um, kung baga, malaki talaga yung binabayaran mo. Kasi, yun nga, hindi mo alam, no? Akala mo, you're looking at the 300 Uh, 300 pesos, akala mo maliit lang. Pero based on the interest rate, ang laki pala ng binabayaran mo. Okay? That's why um, if if my loans, uh, medyo, medyo advantage itong uh, monthly payment or for interest na diminishing na, na, na way. Okay? Some of the lending companies, some of the cooperatives, ito yung ginagawa nila. No? Diminishing. Okay? Kung baga, 2% lang talaga sa whatever balance. So kaya palit ng palit yung kaya kailangan mong bayaran. So yun. So you 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 should know ano yung kinuha mong loan no? It's part of the um it's part of the how to pay off your debt na topic no. So you should know ano yung kinuha mong loan. Pero yun ang sabi ko kanina, mas maganda wala kang utang and ma-manage mo na yan ngayon hanggang ma-pay off mo na kasi yun na nga uh, hindi naman talaga ma-pay ma pay off yan in in one month in two months but siguro in three years five years with IMG kung gano'ng kalaki yung utang mo kaya mo yung mabayaran lahat kasi nga yun nga sabi ko kanina we have financial education tuturuan ka how to manage your your utang how to pay off your utang and yun nga also how to develop the 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 Uh, financial discipline, no, the self-discipline when it comes to borrowing money. And nung simula nung mag-IMG ako, um, takot na akong humiram ng pera. Takot na akong um, humawak ng pera na hindi sa akin. No? Kasi ayaw kong, ayaw kong mabaon sa utang. That's why, yan yung kagandahan sa IMG. Once you join, um, you will be more equipped at the same time yung yung mindset mo din when it comes to borrowing money ma, ma, magbabago din yan and another benefit is you know nga you you will have more cash flow kasi if you magpapaturo ka sa nag-invite sa how to become a member how to become an associate member how to become a marketing director how to become a senior marketing director kumbaga yung Once you join kasi meron tayong business side, meron tayong career side that you can maximize, no? Merong business opportunity so that um, you you maximize it because you you want to earn extra to pay off your debt, no? Kasi if hindi mo babayaran, yun ang sabi ko kanina, if hindi mo babayaran yung utang mo ngayon, lalaki nang lalaki yan. That's why you need to find a way and the best way is to develop self-discipline at the same time you need to increase your cash flow. So sa IMG, matutulungan ka both the financial discipline and the increasing your cash flow. So, madali mo na lang mababayaran whatever utang you have right now. So, one good news ha, sa team namin, meron kami mga uh, members na um, before sila nag-IMG, meron silang lima, tatlong utang and last year, dalawa or tatlo sa mga utang nila na pay off na because that's because of IMG no because of the financial discipline and the business opportunity that you can earn extra okay so yan so if you join IMG expect na mapipay off talaga yung utang mo kasi if without IMG siguro mapipay off mo yung utang mo pero gaano katagal diba so if you look at it with your income right now Um, gano ba kabilis yung gano mo ba kabilis mabayaran yung mga utang mo considering your income so baka baka matagal di ba so that's why um, be part of IMG and yun para mabayaran mo din yung mga utang mo mapay off mo and you will become stress free no so balikan natin yung question to end this meeting why you need to pay off your debt why we need to pay off your debt um, pinaka simple na, na sagot is ito Why not? Diba? So why not? Diba? So imagine your life with 
versus without debt. Diba? So, which is more stress-free? Imaginin mo yung life mo na wala ka pang utang versus ngayon na meron kang utang. ba? Diba? So, mas maganda yung buhay na walang utang. Mas maganda yung buhay na puro uh, savings investments ka lang. No? So, meron kang maraming pera hindi ka uh, hindi yung marami kang pinagkakautangan, di ba? So, kasi if marami kang utang, you you cannot become a blessing to everybody. Nagiging burden ka pa. Pero if you have more money, you have savings, you have investments, you can help a lot of people, especially during ganito, crisis, no? So, you can donate more, you can help your your relatives, you can help your your friends, you can help the community. Pero if you are a person na baon sa utang, ikaw ikaw yung person na umaasa sa tulong ng barangay, di ba? So instead you become part of the problem, be part of the solution, uh, be part of the blessing sa other people. And that's why we encourage you if you're not yet a member, join IMG today and we will help you grow in your financial life, no? We will help you pay off your debt. Okay? Kasi lahat ng nag-join sa IMG uh, or kung hindi man lahat Uh, majority, karamihan, nag-join sa IMG because may mga utang. And we want to change our life. And if you want to change your life, then wala ka ng ibang dapat puntahan na IMG lang. Mag-join ka sa IMG and we will help you. Okay? And um, I think meron kayong natutunan for today's uh, training. Uh, mamayang 4 p.m. meron tayong another uh, 30 minutes na financial coaching which is ang topic is best educational plan for your kids. And ang speaker is si CPA, Juliet Puryo. So, um, umaten kayo kasi it's really uh, good din. No? Magandang topic din yan. Alright? Thank you so much. And have a good lunch sa mga hindi pa nakapag-lunch. Thank you.